सो हेलो गाइज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लॉन्च न्यू विंडोज 11 मिनिमम सिस्टम रिक्वायरमेंट अपडेट एंड पीसी हेल्थ चेक एप इज केम बैक ओके सो फर्स्ट लेट मी ओपन देयर ब्लॉग सो दिस इज अंदी ब्लॉग आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रीड बट आई विल टेल यू वॉट इज न्यू इन दिस एंड वॉट दे आर टेलिंग इट दिस यू कैन सी अपडेट ऑन विंडोज इलेवन मिनिमम सिस्टम रिक्वायरमेंट मिनिमम सिस्टम रिक्वायरमेंट दैट मीन्स दे जस्ट एडेड सम न्यू रिक्वायरमेंट और लोअर डाउन द मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट एंड पीसी हेल्थ चेक एप दिस इज ओनली फॉर इन साइडर्स इफ यू are insider and then you can download it and i will tell you how you can download it before that let me tell you what is new in this so basically they just decrease the processors requirement and nothing else all the requirements are still same only they just added little bit number of new processor which will support windows 11 so let me tell you if you have seven generation processor and greater than that then your system will support windows 11 only for processor not for tpm and secure boot you can see we have concluded that uh, compatible 64 bit processor selected and 4 gb memory 64 gb storage uefi secure boot and graphics requirement and there is a most important thing tpm 2.0 are right minimum system requirement i don't think so this is a great update maybe it is good for some people so i also don't have but i am using windows 11 you guys already know how to do it you need to go to this website i will put all these website link you can click here windows 11 supported AMD processor and supported Intel processor. So I will show you for Intel. Currently, I don't have any supported processor here. So you can see brand name and model name. If you don't know how to check which processor I have, so you can press Control Shift plus Escape key. It will open Task Manager and go to Performance section. Intel Core i7 fifth generation. So basically, this processor not support, and I also don't have TPM and all that. Now you know which processor you have. So just go to this page and press Control. Control plus F. Here you will see Find section. So you need to type like i7, and there is a minus symbol. Type your generation like 55. You can see we are not getting here. Okay, only seven generation processors supporting, and greater than that. And you will also see eight generation and nine generation, ten generation, eleven generation. So that's how you can check your processor support or not. So basically, you don't need to worry about. You need to download this uh, health check tool. Just click. Click on this. Okay, so I will provide this link also. You need to log in with that your insider account. Okay, so just scroll down to the bottom. You will see here download option like 64 bit ARM, 32 bit download and S mode. So I have 64 bit. So just click on download. Okay, so now it's downloaded. Just open it and install. And this will directly tell you your system support or not. Okay, so what happened if you don't have these requirement like if you have unsupported system but still you are using Windows. 11. Okay, so they are telling like if you have one supported system, then 52% devices will crash. So randomly crash anywhere like you will get black screen, blue screen problems, or if you are using any settings and you opening anything that may be crashed. I didn't face any kind of problem like this. I did not get any single time black screen or blue screen. So my system completely not support Windows 11, but I am using it. only RAM or storage things supported and nothing else. But I am using. And there is no issue with that. And they are also telling if you don't have TPM, there is some vulnerability issues, nice security issues, some hacking issues. So all these things they are telling in their blog. You can just read the complete blog. So let me tell you, if you are using Windows 10 from very long time, have you faced any kind of problem like hacking and all that? So if not, then you are good to go with this Windows 11. Okay. So now we have this PC Health app. In the left side, you will see about your system. And whenever you click on Check now. and now you can see your organization manages update so this is the problem i don't know why this is coming some people are saying like go to setting and go to accounts and remove your access work and school accounts currently it is even not linked in my system i don't know why it is giving okay so you can just download it and you can try this in your system maybe you will get here success message fully supported you will get a green icon okay so just follow all the steps and if your laptop and pc supported then you can just upgrade for free so okay guys that's it for the video if you like this video just hit the like button and to subscribe if you are new on this channel okay guys thank you so much for watching this video